Hi, how's it going? Today, I want to show you how Keepa works, which is one of the most useful free apps for tracking prices on Amazon and notifying us when a product we want to buy drops in price. On top of that, it also helps us gather data about our competition or how many products are competing within the same category. As I was saying, Keepa is free, although you have plans. Paid plans starting at around $15 a month to access even more data. And basically, what people know this app for is the price tracker. You can, just like when you use Camel, 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 select a product, this one for example, and with the free extension we have for Chrome, Firefox, and other browsers. See how its price has evolved. Of the prices of this product on Amazon, as you can see, we have several graphs. Whether it's sold by Amazon itself or by a third party. New, used, the sales range, price list, new from a third party seller, using their own logistics, flash deals that Amazon has made for this product, warehouse offers because there's overstock or they can't get rid of the product, or they are secondhand products or if they are used, but like new, very good, good used, acceptable used, etc. So here we can see the entire history of this product and also track the product. For example, this is currently at 91.96. Prime Day 2021 is coming up, so I could say, well, notify me when on Amazon. Sold and shipped by Amazon is at 87.36 or less. Or for example, when you have 10% off. 82.76 or less. Or if the new product has a 20% discount, okay. Or notify me when the used one has the lowest price of all the historical data of prices for used products. So it would be 36.09 and keep track for me. Well, look, Prime Day is going to be in less than a month. So keep track for me for a month, okay? And I say to start tracking. So from here, it tells me, look, I can send you notifications to your email as soon as this is with the price you mentioned or to Telegram or push notifications in Chrome or by using the Keeper mobile app, which is available on Google Play and the App Store. I can send you real time push notifications when this drops. And the idea is that when it's low, we go and snag that deal on Amazon. But mm, Keeper doesn't stop there. All the tracking and everything is really cool, but for Amazon sellers, for people who are selling on Amazon, even for vendors, for people from whom Amazon buys stock, the data part is super useful. The data part, it's one of the APIs and databases that other tools like Helium 10 rely on, for example. If you notice, we can subscribe for 19 euros a month or more, depending on the payment plans to use the API or to get even more results besides the free ones. And what I like a lot is besides the product finder, product viewer, and so on, that we have a ton of options here of options to pull products, like for example, by sales range or by average sales in the last 90 days. Okay. This would help us with product scouting and finding products that are selling really well, but I don't just like Keepa for that. I especially like it for the top seller list and the category tree. Let's take a look at the top seller list. Okay. Here, what it shows me are top seller products. Well, sorry, merchants, top sellers in Spain. Okay. It's showing me the top five in sales in Spain. In fact, I could change this and have it show me the same thing like for the UK, for example. Okay. In this case, one second, I'm going to change this. My language. Correct. Okay. In this case, it's showing me the top five. Why? Well, because this is limited and I have to subscribe to see up to 100,000 top sellers on Amazon Spain. Okay. And what it tells me here is the number of reviews, total reviews, how many have come into Logos in the last 30 days, whether you're using FBA or not, how many listings you have, and basically in which category they're making most of their sales and the seller ID. This helps me see who the top sellers are within a category that I might be competing in or want to compete in. But it doesn't stop there, Keeper. We have this super useful app to see the category tree. 
the real time category three from various Amazons worldwide. Okay. So we have Japan, China, Italy, Spain, France, Germany, England, but we also have Mexico, Canada, Brazil, India, and a ton of Amazons. And this, which are just public data that we can see within these Amazons while browsing, is organized here for me in categories and subcategories. And not only that, but also when I expand, I see how many products are competing within each of these categories. So for example, to find niches in sports, it would be great to look for subcategories and see which ones are less competitive. For example, let's say I have a sports store where I sell multi-sports, okay? And here it's telling me that polo balls or encinchas y gualdrapas, which I have no idea what they are, or mallets have less competition that in the main category, oh, of course. So if I list my product under the main or secondary category of vests and martingales, and it obviously fits there, I have a much better chance of being a bestseller in that category because there are 90 products competing instead of 132 here or 1412 there. It helps us explore how many products are competing within each of the categories. Here, for example, there are very few products for fans. Wow. This is a gold mine for finding merchandise, for example. And in this subcategory of flags and posters for fans, there are only three products competing. So I have a huge opportunity. Okay, I could go look at this subcategory here inside Amazon. Or what I could do if I'm selling team flags, for example, because I have official merchandise, is to tell my seller central manager through a ticket to put me in this ID. Specific category ID not in the flags and posters category, but in this particular ID. So they don't get it wrong, moving me from category and then it becomes my main or secondary category. That way, the product moves there. And if it has a certain number of sales, you can see there are very few because there are three products competing. I would get the best seller badge for that subcategory. Okay. And that ultimately shows up in all the searches where it appears my product. I removed it from the side where it says best sellers. As you can see here, we have absolutely all the categories of Amazon and we can see which ones are the most competitive. Shoes and accessories, 10 million products. Clothing, 21 million products. Books, 16 million products. Home and kitchen, it's insane. 33 million products. What else do we have here? Sports, 11 million. The IDN, I mean, the most competitive category on Amazon Spain. We're seeing that it's the category of home and kitchen. And within each of these subcategories, we can see which ones are the most competitive, right? Well, look, five and seven million. This is sewing and crafts. Holy cow. Home decor, seven million, almost three million in furniture, one million in artwork and decorative materials, three million in home textiles, one million seven hundred thousand in utensils. It's just crazy. For example, we can see that within Amazon Spain, there are 16,805,513 5, books, which is also a huge number. We can see all of this here in the free options. Or we can subscribe and pay those 19 euros a month to have access to the complete data or even to use the Kippa API. Honestly, for the amount of the data it gives us, it seems really strange. And besides, once we pay the payment plan while browsing through products on Amazon, we could see how much stock our competitors have, how much stock they have left. One of the videos at the beginning of this channel explained how to do the 999 technique, which is basically take a product, request 9999 as the quantity of that product, and then it reveals how much stock is left for that product. If not, that data is restricted. Well, Keepa does this in real time, several times a day, and for all these Amazons, so I could go look for all my competitors and see how much stock they have left to see if I can beat them in the buy box or if I can even leave them out of stock. They're about to run out of stock to be the search result that comes out ahead of my competitors. I mean, it's amazing for 19 euros a month, super cheap and super useful not just for tracking deals and prices, but also for all the data it provides. The category pre, I tell you, is gold and the top seller list. The same. I hope you liked it and remember to subscribe to the channel. All right. See you later. Goodbye.